Good morning students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. We are learning the pavement material and its characterization. Well, in today's lecture, we will learn the characteristics of road aggregates and the most important topic that is the aggregate gradation. So let's start the lecture with the first topic that is the characteristics of road aggregates. So basically, for the road aggregates, we have this five characteristics that is the strength, hardness, toughness, durability and the shape of the aggregate. So let's discuss on the strength characteristics. The aggregates to be used in the road construction should be sufficiently strong to withstand the stresses due to the traffic wheel load. The aggregates which are to be used in the top layer of the pavement that we generally call as a wearing course, that course have to be capable of withstanding the higher stresses in addition to the wear and tear. So the strength is the most important characteristics for the road construction as Frequently, the pavement is contacting with the heavier wheel loads so that it has to be resistance capacity for the betterment of the pavement. Next, that is the hardness. For the hardness, the aggregates that used in the surface course are subjected to the constant rubbing or the abrasion due to moving traffic. They should be hard enough to resist the wear due to the abrasive action of the traffic. The abrasive action may be increased due to the presence of abrasive material such as uh, sand between the tires of moving vehicle and maybe the aggregates that exposed at the top surface. This action may be severe in the case of steel tire vehicles also. The heavy wheel loads can also cause the deformation on some types of pavement that resulting in relative movement of the aggregate and the rubbing of aggregates. The mutual rubbing of the aggregates is generally called as attrition which also may cause a little wear in the aggregates. So, the hardness should be proper of the aggregates for the aggregates that used in pavement construction. The next that is the toughness. Okay, we'll start with what is toughness. The resistance to the impact that is generally called as the toughness property, which is the another desirable property or the characteristics of aggregates. The aggregates in the pavement layers are also subjected to the impact due to the maybe moving wheel load. The magnitude of impact would increase with the roughness of the road surface, speed of the vehicle and some other vehicular characteristics. Now, we, if we talk about the durability, the stone used in the pavement construction should be durable and it should resist the disintegration due to the action of the weather. The property of the aggregate to withstand the adverse action that generally called as the soundness property. The aggregates are subjected to the physical as well as the chemical action because of the rain and the groundwaters. Also for due to the impurities there in the groundwater, yes, and sometimes due to the atmosphere. Hence, it is desirable that the road aggregates should be sound enough to withstand the weathering action. The next property that is the shape of aggregates. 
the shape of aggregates may be rounded may be cubical may be angular or maybe it's lacky or elongated so the shape of aggregates affect the characteristics that affect its functionality in the particular construction the flaky and elongated particles will have the less strength and durability when compared to the cubical and angular and the rounded particles hence too much flaky and too much elongated aggregates should be avoided as far as possible the rounded aggregates may be preferred in the cement concrete mix due to low specific surface area and the better workability however the rounded aggregates are not much preferred in the granular base course or the water bound macadam construction and sometimes in bituminous construction also as the stability due to the interlocking of rounded particles are very less so in such type of construction the angular particles are mostly preferred voids present in a compacted mix of coarse aggregates that depends on the shape of the aggregate the highly angular uh, flaky and elongated aggregates have more voids in comparison with the rounded aggregates so this was all about the characteristics of road aggregates sometimes we uh, call as the desirable property of the road aggregates so these five are the desirable properties strength hardness toughness durability and the shape of the aggregates now let's talk on the aggregate gradation why the grading of aggregate is necessary how we perform that and what are the benefits of aggregates gradation okay so let's talk on the next topic that is the aggregate gradation or the grading of aggregate the grading of aggregate is determined by the cv analysis the cv analysis is the operation of dividing a sample of aggregate into the various fraction each consisting of the particles of the same size the sieve analysis is conducted to determine the particle size distribution in sample of aggregates which generally called as the grading of aggregate or the gradation of the aggregates we have few sieves that are determined as per the coarse aggregate and the fine aggregate as a fine aggregate so if we talk about the coarse aggregates we have 80 mm sieve 40 mm 20 mm 10 mm and at last 4.5 mm size sieve is considered as the coarse aggregate sieve if we talk about how to uh, grade the fine aggregates so for that the sieves are 2.36 mm 1.18 mm 600 micron 300 micron and 150 microns so these are the sieve which define the fine aggregates if all the particles of an aggregates are of uniform size the compacted mass will contain more voids and it needs more quantity of line aggregates and the cement paste also so on the other hand aggregate comprising particles of various sizes will give a mass of less voids the particle size distribution of a mass of aggregate should be such that the smaller particles fill the voids between the larger particles and such gradings are generally called as the very good grading condition the good grading of the aggregate that produce dense concrete and it needs less quantity of fine aggregates as well as the cement paste hence to produce such quality concrete 
it is essential that the cores and the fine aggregates are well graded. The good grading of aggregate provides higher strength, lower shrinkage, the greater durability and the economy of the concrete. In the gradation, the size analysis, a sample of dry aggregates and dry aggregate of known weights is separated through the series of sieves with the progressively smaller openings. Once it gets separated, the weight of particles retained on each sieve is measured and compared to the total sample weight. The particle size distribution is then expressed as the percentage that retained or passing by the weight of each sieve. The aggregate gradation influences almost every important the aggregate gradation influences almost every important property that including stiffness, stability, durability, permeability vocability, fatigue resistance, skid resistance, and the resistance to the moisture damage. A widely used, widely used equation to describe a maximum density gradation for a given maximum aggregate size. It was developed by the Fuller and the Thompson in 1907. They gave an equation that P is equals to D by capital D raised to N into 100, which gives the percentage that finer than the aggregates size that being considered for the construction. So, in general, we can say the percentage of passing aggregates that is the P, small d is the aggregate size that is being considered. D, capital D is the maximum aggregate size. Small n is the parameter which adjusts for the fineness or the coarseness. Fuller assumed the shape of aggregate as in a spherical particle. So that is the limitation of this equation that is only applied for the spherical particle of aggregates. And the value of gradation index obtained for the spherical shape that is the value of n small n that he has considered 0.5 so these two are the limitation of the fuller's equation that the shape is considered spherical and the value of small n that is the value of gradation index is 0.5 so with that there are few gradation type that we will discuss that is the uniformly graded aggregate such aggregates refers to a gradation that contains most of the particles in a very narrow size and the curve that generally is steep and only occupies the narrow size range that is specified. Here all the particles are the, in the same size. Well, if we talk about the characteristics of uniformly graded aggregates, the particle to particle contact are there. Yes. The high void contain it contains high voids. It has a high stability if it gets confined. When it unconfined, it gives the low stability as it gets dispersed, and it is very difficult to compact such type of graded aggregates. The next we have type of aggregate gradation that is the open graded aggregates. It refers to a gradation that contains only a small percentage of aggregate particles in the small range. It has high void content, it has a high stability, same as it can confine. If it is not confined, means if it is unconfined, it gives very low strength and it is also difficult to compact. While talking about the dense graded aggregates or sometimes we can call it as a well graded aggregate, it refers to the gradation that is having the maximum density and it contains 
optimum amount of aggregates from all the ranges. Well, the gap graded aggregates are refers to the gradation that contains only a small particles of aggregate in the mid sized range. So these are the type of gradation and its formation when it gets constructed or when it gets compacted. Okay, so this was all about the aggregate gradation. With this, I am concluding today's lecture. Thank you so much students for your kind attention. I hope you understand the topic thoroughly. Thank you so much.